Do you like my shoes? I couldn't find the other one. So you're not walking in just one shoe? Yeah, I couldn't find the other one. Where could it be? Probably somewhere in my room. If you knew where it was, it would be on your foot, right? Yeah. So, did you see the video from uh, two years ago that was posted on the vlog just today? The one where I was sitting in the car? Yes. I think, yeah, I don't know, probably, sure. So what is it like, because obviously it's very emotional for your mama to watch you grow up and change so quickly. Because when, when we look at you from two years ago, it's like you've been a totally different person, you know? Mm -hmm. What is it like for you to see yourself? Do you recognize yourself from two years ago in that video? I recognize myself, but when I look in the mirror... It, I look different back then, but when I'm looking in the mirror, I don't all of a sudden on my next birthday look, Whoa, I look like I'm 12! So, I don't know. So is it wild for you to like see this video now and see how different you were two years ago? Just two years ago? I guess. I stepped on a rock. Well, that's what happens when you walk in one shoe only. But if I can't find the other shoe, then I can't walk in two shoes. You better start looking then. Wait. This interview is over. Wait, no, let me shoot out the camera. <laughs> w Stanach, gdzie by się człowiek nie ruszył w lecie i na wiosnę szczególnie, to zawsze słychać takie głośne huczenie, takie odgłosy jak za mną właśnie teraz, bo zawsze gdzieś ktoś kosi trawę, albo sprząta liście, albo y, jeszcze inne czynności y, które są wymagane do utrzymania trawników, tudzież wszelkiej zieleni otaczającej nas e, wykonuje. Nie wiem do końca, czy to było poprawne zdanie. E, mam nadzieję, że było, ale nie mam zamiar go wypowiadać jeszcze raz, bo było zbyt długie. I feel like I need a haircut. You feel like you need a haircut? Yes. It looks awesome. Mm -hmm. You're a character. Don't ever change that. You don't need a haircut. No, I am gonna get her to cut it because it's hard to do anything. You need it to stay exactly as it is. Then I need more gel. So basically we have to tell you guys we are starting this episode today in a very uh, interesting location. I don't believe this place has been featured on our channel yet. So hopefully we can take a little bit of a tour today and well, is that guy a statue or is he? No, he's taking a picture. But that's the restaurant. <laughs> it's got all these uh, statues all around. Well, this, this place, we need to tell you, it's like a gigantic sculpture garden, right? Mm -hmm. And there's all kinds of artful exhibitions around because this, this is a place for artists. It's called Grounds for Sculpture and it's basically filled with artistic creations. Did I give a good description? Yes. So it has these all around, which are scaring the something out of Blani. This place is pretty unique for you, for New Jersey, wouldn't, wouldn't you say, Blani? I would say it's unique for anywhere. What does this look like to you? Because it oh, kind of reminds me of like New Mexico yeah. looking stuff, Arizona type of, you know, buildings. Yeah. I feel like I've seen this kind of stuff when I visited Albuquerque. Santa Fe, like the mm -hmm. stucco building. So why are we here? This looks like a pirate ship though, like a gypsy caravan so why are we here really to interview and meet Mira the sculptor that's right um, we're gonna get two films out of this day today one is the behind the scenes which is right now of meeting 
Mirahu is a uh, unique Polish person here in US and we'll tell you all about her in the other film so we're not going to be revealing this here uh, this is just kind of to show you how this meeting took place and uh, you know what happened on this day that we'll, we're going to make this other film out of does this make sense? yes Are you going to be cold inside? Not with this jacket. The what he's doing now is because when you're talking to us so relaxed, but once people feel like they're being interviewed for a film, they're like, oh my goodness, let me talk very properly and say all of the right words. But you're so sweet and relaxed right now, and we want to get you... I will stop rub you. <laughs> well, we're not recording yet, so don't worry. <laughs> if you will... Give some thoughts and try to understand what you offer to what client you offer and uh, just define yourself as a your separate artist. You, you don't have competition because you're so different. And uh, that's why I really see a lot of positivity in your meetings as photographers. I would love to meet with sculptors and, and talk about their challenges and, you know, their techniques. So, what did you think about the uh, meeting with Mira? I loved her. I see why everybody told us about her. It was pretty mind-blowing, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. It was like a uh, lesson in life to create your new self. And I say to everybody, I am a living example, a proof that you, if you have a dream and you call it and you meditate on it, it just comes to you. It, the universe listens and just provides. I think that your video about her should be more than just about, oh look, here's an interesting Polish woman who creates sculptures because it's so much more it's than... It's definitely going to be more because she is truly a... Uh, I don't even know what to call it. The sculptures are a just the manifestation of her... who she has become. I call my sculptures affirmations. Like affirmations in words are empowering people, you know, whenever you want to uh, change your belief, very often repeating the statements which are called affirmations helps you to get through and I believe they're very powerful I know they I don't believe I know they're powerful because I use them and um, so my art I call art affirmations because they have the same purpose uh, whenever I sculpt it's always a message a type of reminder uh, when I do for myself which I want to capture in my sculpture. So I don't treat my sculptures as the objects like decorated pieces, they are tools. They are literally having the energy and message in them which are supposed to work, you know, with people. I mean, she had, she just had so much to say about, you know, different areas of life that like all her ideas and words made a lot of sense. Mm -hmm. It was just crazy, crazy experience. Mm -hmm. We're very much on the same page with her. It made me think a lot, you know? It's interesting how all of these people that we keep me meeting, they introduce you to other people that are in the same... You understand why they're all in the it's same circle. It's a chain circle. reaction. You understand why they're all in the yes, same circle. Absolutely, because they're all positive people. They all have, they all have similar outlook on life. They're all about, you know, self-development and uh, self-improvement. Mm -hmm. in, in maybe from different angles and in, in, in different ways using different tools but mm -hmm. it's all a part of a very positive group of people mm -hmm. I met my husband George in Sopot in Spatif accidentally yeah. I never planned to live in America I had all the support around me my parents my friends you know everybody I, I had super comfortable life with traveling and everything and I am suddenly in the situation I need to make a decision 
believe me, it was a yeah, like struggle. I was loving George, uh, of course, you know, very much, but it was a big tra trade. <laughs> You said when you lived in Poland, uh, no, no, you knew who you were. Yeah. So then after those eight years here, when you started sculpting, what happened for you? I started to develop American Mira. I started to literally develop my new identity. And it was fascinating. It became, I was literally three months later in Grand for Sculpture exhibiting. Mm. The sculptures were so good. They were so good because I was, carrying this in me for so long and you know I just needed this technique to let it out so it and it still is you know I am in the journey coming here today my idea was that we're gonna wrap this up in one day you know shoot an interview then show her sculptures and her work environment and stuff like that it's not doable with this personality to you know do everything in one day it definitely requires more than one shooting day mm -hmm. so we're, we're we're gonna come back and i thought you know right after this film we can show you guys the finished film about mira and her life and who she is and her work not gonna happen this mm -hmm. is gonna this is gonna be maybe not as big of a project as the uh Pulse in usa film but it's definitely gonna be slightly bigger project with more than one visit required to complete it Tell me what happened to Lando. We didn't end up naming him Lando, did we? No, it was Gamera. So what happened to him eventually? Where did you get the name Lando? You got that name. You came up with it in the car, in that video. No, I didn't. I would never name anything Lando. <laughs> it's in the video. No, I wouldn't. I would never name anything Lando. It's in the video. You can't deny it. It's in the video.